What's up, people? All right, so I posted a picture of a uh, a knife I was working on. Uh, that girl right there with a uh, baking soda and leather polish on it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, nothing to it. It's easy. Uh, show you what you need or what I use at least. Um, I got a piece of red oak uh, that I trimmed off some uh, stair treads that I put in the guy's house. I took a piece of leather, uh, scrap leather, cut it just about the same size, and electrical taped it on here. That gives it just a little bit of padding. Um, I use that after 400 grit. Um, up to 400 grit, I use a piece of steel um, to wrap my sandpaper around. Um, the steel is hard enough to where it, if you have any low spots on your metal, it's going to help level everything out. Um, the leather is going to be soft enough to where it's going to polish everything the way you need it to. You don't polish a car with a hard piece of wood, you know. Um, but what you need is your your sanding block. You need your baking soda, and I use a thick mixture, it's blue as you can see, of Dawn dishwashing liquid and water. And uh, let's see, is there anything else? Road beer. All right. So. We uh, pause this and we'll plug my phone up because it's almost dead. And uh, I'll put it in my mount and I'll show you guys the way that I polish with baking soda. Learn this on YouTube because my glasses, my stupid dog decided to get a hold of them and shoot them up. Something bad. I couldn't see out of them. And it's $1,200 pair of glasses. Uh, so I did some research and found out that baking soda polishes glass. And polymer and several other things so it just hit me the other day i said wait a minute um if baking soda polishes glass it'll polish metal too and i tried it and it worked better than anything i've ever used i don't have a buffer i bought one and i wasn't a big fan of it so i took it back i would rather hand sand but after talking to guru i'll get another buffer um but maybe some better buffing wheels for it I think that was where my downfall was. Gotta love Harbor Freight. So, give me a second. Let me plug everything up and uh, I'll show you guys how to do this. All right. So, what we're going to do is this knife has been sanded to 800 grit wet with Dawn dishwashing liquid. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sanding block here. I'm going to take a piece of 800 grit paper. I don't care if it's worn out or not. I'm gonna wrap it on there. I'll take a little bit of my solution here and just do it over the knife because it's gonna drip. There's also a towel on the floor that you can't see. Um, get it nice and nice and coated with that until you got bubbles going. And then whatever side your bevel's on, just put you know liberally on there. And we're gonna touch it back up with our 800 grit. I like to go. Ah, stupid phone. Sorry guys. One second. All right, so now that's over with. Uh, I like to go not only back and forth on the blade with my 800 grit I only do this with 800 1200 or 800 all the way up to 2000 uh, just back and forth like that but also at an angle because then you're going to disturb any kind of scratches or whatever that's left and it's going to give you a nice even finish when you get up to your 1200 mark And you'll start seeing the spider web on the blade, which is, that's what you want. You want it to really, really polish that steel and make sure you get every little bit. And on the last few passes, I just go straight, just like that. 
and we take our nasty ass rag here, give it a good wipe down. So that was 800. Now I'm going to bring out a piece of 1200 if I can find it. Harbor Freight 1200 grit. So, in my opinion, it's more like 900 or 1000 grit. I don't trust Harbor Freight as far as I can see them. Um, and if you take a piece of 1200 grit Harbor Freight paper and put it up against a piece of 1000 grit 3M, uh, they feel exactly the same. But for $4 for 12 sheets, you know, I'm not going to bitch too much about it. Um, so, same thing, we're going to go back with our solution of Dawn and water. Make sure you get your blade nice and wet and back to it, just back and forth. Like I said, switch it up diagonally or, uh, or you know, however which way you feel because it's not really going to matter in the end anyway and the more you disturb any kind of scratches the less they're going to appear especially when you get to the baking soda baking soda is very fine but it's still abrasive and once you get to about a thousand grit you'll be able to feel where the knife is polished and where it's not polished you'll be able to see the steel powder start to develop and it'll start turning gray and that's exactly what you want but that's why the dawn is there the little bubbles are going to help to float off any kind of debris that the sandpaper takes off and it's going to give you less clogging in your sandpaper and it's going to give you a lot nicer finish as opposed to not wet sanding it so we should be right there at the precipice of where we want to start using 2000 grit oh yeah perfect so we got a little bit of spider web which is good i don't know whether you guys can see my shirt in there but it's uh that's a thousand grit or 1200 harbor freight but i'm gonna call it a thousand grit uh get another rag here dry rag and where we can get all this debris off of here because once you start getting into 2000 grit you want to make sure your blade is very clean you don't want to um, have any leftover um, sandpaper or any kind of um, abrasive on there so we're going to use some alcohol to go ahead and make sure that everything is off of that blade because the last thing you want on 2000 grit sand is having a piece, a very small piece of other abrasive on there that's going to uh, scratch your blade. And as you can see, wipe down with a little bit of alcohol. That's just 1000 grit. We haven't even got to 2000 yet. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a uh, 2000 grit with just the Dawn and uh, spend a little time trying to make sure all these spider webs are gone. So once, once, when I say spider, spider web, I re, I, I'm referring to how the uh, differential uh, direction of sanding creates buff marks on the steel, which is okay because they're going to go away. So here's my piece of 2000. As you can see, it's well loved. I use it all the time, but it's my favorite piece of sandpaper ever. Hasn't let me down yet. I use them until I cannot use them anymore, until they're basically just falling apart. 
So, my cutter blade with their Dawn solution and our sandpaper. And when it stops making sound on the part that you're sanding, that's when you know you're getting somewhere. Because basically your 2000 grit, you want it to sound like a towel wiping off a dry plate. So when there's no scratch, scratch, scratch sound, that's when you know you're, you're getting somewhere. But this is also the point to where we want to make sure we keep wiping it down because you want to make sure that every little bit of that spider web is gone. So once again, dry towel, get all that nonsense off of there. We've got a couple of spots we need to work on near the plunge line right there. the other direction now make sure to get it right up against that plunge line and if you got the right light you'll be able to watch the spider web just disappear and that's exactly what we want a lot of fine fine swirl marks they'll polish right away with some mother's magnet aluminum polish they'll, they'll just go away but we want it right there at perfect before we do that but that's where the baking soda comes in. Okay. So. There it is. You just wipe her off one good time. That was a 2000 grit wet sand. Um, I'm going to wipe her down with alcohol real quick. That, like I said, is to prevent any kind of leftover abrasive on the blade so as you can see it's reflective you can see whatever you want in it um, it's shiny it's very shiny not as shiny as the other side yet but it's gonna get there really quick this blades already been heat treated um, I sanded it up to 600 grit before I heat treated it um, after I heat treated it, uh, I sanded it again. Um, as soon as I quenched it, I went ahead and got my die grinder out with a blue uh, Scotch Bright pad with some green polishing compound and brought it back down to the steel, um, tempered it. Uh, it was beautiful, perfect wheat color, uh, four hours, two different times at 475. Uh, this knife's a quarter inch thick, um, full flat grind. And it's getting emerald and gold swirl uh, scales with brass liners on it. Um, big knife, big knife. Uh, it's false edge, it's not going to be sharpened on top. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to get into our baking soda. Um, I like to leave my piece of leather in my solution. That keeps it nice and saturated with our... Um, dawn and whatnot. So we're going to take this and make a giant mess in the kitchen. Good times. We're going to put a pretty good bit of baking soda on here. Just wet your fingers a little bit and work it into the leather. Make sure to make a giant mess too on the inside of the house. I've already been caught stealing her Rubbermaid lids, um, her toaster oven, a few other good things, you know, but they make money, so she don't mind too much. All right, so now that we got this saturated, we're gonna put some Dawn on it. 
and it's gonna create this gelatinous surface on here. I'm gonna take some of that, put it directly on the blade. We basically just made polishing compound, that's all it is. But like I said, baking soda is so fine that it really polishes still well. And glass, and fiberglass, and plastic. You can see it's starting to turn a little bit red maybe in the camera from the uh, from the leather. But this is my um, Frankenstein leather piece that I tried to carve and I don't see how Spencer's guys do that. It's, it eludes me. But time will tell, right? All right, so we take our sanding block and just like last time, just nice and even strokes back and forth. Don't get in a hurry. You don't have to push down too hard. All you got to do is just basically whatever weight of your hands are and just work that uh, baking soda into the whole surface of your knife. The leather is not going to get damaged by your knife point. So you ain't got to worry about that. Unlike sandpaper, the leather's nice and thick. It's also padded. So as you're doing this, you don't have to worry about it cutting it or anything. All right, so we just uh, did just a couple of a couple of times on that. And if you, when you wipe it off, you're going to see the finest of the fine sanding marks. So now we're going to wipe our hands off here. Get our alcohol, wipe her down, and that's going to give you a better bearing on what spots you need to continue uh, and focus more attention on. But the one thing I got to say, you got to keep your baking soda wet because it dries out really quick. And when it dries out, it doesn't uh, polish that well. So you got to keep it soaking wet. Like I said, you don't have to push too hard, but um, on some parts, it's a little better to push a little harder, especially if you got some big spider webs on there. Right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my can of Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. I'm sure everybody's got their own personal preference for polishes and all that good stuff, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <coughs> Go ahead and put a nice thick coat on there. And just like Steve Sincock says, I don't sharpen anything until it's ready to send out. So I can get on this edge, you know, pretty hard without having to worry about cutting my hand open. Um, I keep it about half a dime's thickness until the day I send it out. Um, unless I just want to sharpen it and play with it outside, but I don't uh, typically do that. That's not something I'd like to deal with, especially with my demonic five-year-old all over the place. This rag is damp. It's quite damp. 
So it's going to leave, you know, a little bit of water on there, but we got a dry towel off to the side we're going to use. There it is. Um, what I'm gonna do now though, uh, a lot of people don't understand, which I don't know how I even figured it out, but I'm going to uh, finish polishing it with a piece of wet cardboard. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Uh, what I did was I took a piece of cardboard off a box, just a little box, and I soaked it in hot water